morning. We are hearing from an Oregon mother who is suing her daughter's school for disability discrimination. At the center of this lawsuit is something called informal removals. It's a strategy of taking students with disabilities out of the classroom, usually because of behavioral issues. Fox News' Bonnie Silkman joins us now live in studio with a closer look at the lawsuit and the process. Bonnie? Yes, good morning. So it's something you might not be too familiar with, but it is happening in school districts all across the country. Something called informal removals. That's the process involving schools taking students with disabilities out of the classroom, sometimes dismissing them from school early or reducing their in-person learning to only a couple hours a week. Most of the time, school officials say that these removals are the result of safety concerns for the students, their peers, and their teachers. Now, according to the National Disability Rights Network, nor informal removals like these happen hundreds if not thousands of times per year. Now Chloe, uh, Chloe Warren who has autism in Oregon she goes to school in Grants Pass uh, for only two hours a week so one day a week. Now her mom Alyssa says the school district told her that Chloe needed shorter days after having an outburst in class last year and throwing a desk at a teacher. Alyssa, though, says that the school failed to provide Chloe with the proper support. She argues that this removal is really impacting her daughter's education and her social skills. So she's now suing the school and the school district claiming disability discrimination. It's not asking much to send your kid to school for at least one whole day. I don't think they see really the impact that they have on families. And because these informal removals are often marked as off the books suspensions, schools aren't required to report them like actual suspensions, which means they're harder to track. Disability advocates say that the removals violate students' civil rights. And under federal law, children with disabilities must receive an education similar to kids without disabilities. It's against the law for schools to list a lack of funding as the reason for not properly teaching a child with disabilities. But some disability advocates could say not all states enforce that law to the fullest extent, saying informal removals are an easier strategy for schools instead of working to solve the behavioral disruptions. Kim and Shana, back to you.